Hello, everyone. It's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so glad you guys could join me today for another Tuesday tip video. Hey, today's tip is going to be about creating pinwheel cards. Have you seen these? They're really an amazing card. Uh, you're going to be excited about this one because it is going to be able to be mailed in a medium-sized A2 envelope. Fantastic cards, lots of fun layers, but I've got some tips to make it super easy as always. So let's head over to my stamping table and let's talk about creating pinwheel cards. I have always loved the look of a pinwheel card. If you've never seen these, let me show you. Yep, kind of looks like a pinwheel. You notice it's a card that stands beautifully, but you also see it lays flat and yes, it will fit into a medium sized envelope. So this is a card that you can easily mail. We love that. I'll show you that card here in a minute. This is the card we're actually going to create today. And you see, it just kind of keeps flipping. Here's where we can write our message. You just keep going. Very, very fun card. Looks uber complicated, right? Well, Simply Simple Stamping has that name for a reason. I'm gonna show you some simplified ways to create your own pinwheel cards. All right, to start, we're going to talk about just the supplies you need to just create the pinwheel card. We'll decorate later and I'll give you those measurements, but this is what we need. This is a half sheet of cardstock that was four and a quarter by 11 inches. And I have cut that down into four pieces that are two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So half a sheet of cardstock. My designer series paper, I've got several things going on here. So this is my pinwheel and this is cut four and a quarter by four and a half. I'm gonna show you some scoring on that in a minute. Uh, this is a panel that we're going to use as well. This one is a two and a half by four four. The last thing we're going to need are four pieces. These are one and a half by four. All right. That's what we need. So the first things we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to put the pinwheel together and then we'll decorate. So I'll tell you what, I, we are going to start with this four and a quarter by four and a half piece of designer series paper. We're going to do some scoring. And as we do this scoring, I want you to put the pretty side up. All right, because this is what's actually gonna be on the inside, but it's what's going to show. So you can see how my designer series paper is there on the inside of my card, kind of gives a fun optical illusion. I'm gonna put the four and a half inches up here at the top, and we are going to score at one inch, two inch, three inch, and four inch. So that's going to leave us this little half inch tab. So again, four and a half inches up at, this, up at the top, score at one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna bring in my bone folder and I want you to give these score lines a very gentle score. Remember, I want the pretty side on the inside. And I know that's counterintuitive to what we usually do, but trust me on this one, we're gonna give those a nice score. Friends, I'm telling you, you're gonna be blown away by how easy this card is. All right, so I've got my little tab right here and we're gonna take our adhesive, go all the way down, and we are simply going to bring one side over that. You notice I'm kind of giving it a press back and forth. That is the start of our pinwheel. Oh, you're just, you're gonna die when you see how easy this is. Okay, not the color that we want with the navy, right? Well, don't worry about it. It's not going to show. So I'm gonna put adhesive here on this very first panel. Now you notice I only have it on the one panel right now. I'm gonna take my Knight of Navy cardstock and you can see it's gonna line up right on that edge. In fact, you can kind of even give it a fold. You wanna make sure you can't see anything. Boom, first one done. I'm gonna fold this flat. Now I'm going to put adhesive on this next panel and this one will lay right on top. It's so easy to put this card together. Give that a press. We're gonna flip again. There's no right or wrong here. It's gonna kind of go into place. Again, just lining that up. And then we have one more flap right here. So I'll make this one go flat. Oh, it's just too cool of a card. All right, again, plenty of adhesive. And we add our last piece of Knight of Navy. Looks like I got a little excess right there. And you know what? That is easy enough. I'm gonna trim that off. We all know that happens sometimes, right? All right, that, boom. We just made the base of the pinwheel. And there we go. 
our pieces are spinning, it's standing, that's it. That is all we had to do. All right, so we have created the base of the pinwheel card. That was pretty easy, right? Well, now we're gonna get to decorating, but before we do, I wanna let you know there's a free download that goes along with today's video. So if you would like to recreate the pinwheel card yourself, you're gonna to wanna to have that. You can find it at simplysimplestamping.com or just look down in the YouTube description. I've got a direct link to today's post. You can get your download there. Look for the blue button that says free download. I'd love for you to have that. All right. Now let's decorate our pinwheel and I've got another card to share with you as well. Right. Now I'm going to be using two stamp sets. They're part of the suite, Petal Park and Sentimental Park. Petal Park is a great stamp set, but you notice there's no sentiments in that one. So I'm gonna bring in Sentimental Park for my sentiments, but of course use whatever you want. Remember, this is your card, your creativity. Now I decided I wanted to uh, bring in some of the scallop um, contours dies. I just thought they looked really, really nice with this. So I have cut three. You're going to need three panels. Um, this would be the third from the smallest or third from the largest, either way. So the one there in the middle. And I cut three of those from some two and a half by four and a quarter. Let's do a little stamping on these before we get started. I'm gonna bring in my grid paper because I am for sure gonna be stamping off the edge of my paper. Let's start, we've got two ink pads, Knight of Navy and Balmy Blue. I'm gonna start with my Knight of Navy and you're gonna see me use a lot of stamps from this set. But again, use what you have. I'm gonna stamp these leaves down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to take the cluster of flowers. There's a great little cluster here. And let's stamp those in Night of Navy. Um, now we're gonna bring in the balmy blue. We're gonna stamp our sentiments and we're gonna color in those flowers. I love two-step stamping for coloring flowers. It goes so fast. I will ink up my flowers in balmy blue. You see it lines right up, boom, I have colored flowers. Um, now let's take the leaves, but I don't want them to be the same color as my flowers. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stamp off once so I get a lighter balmy blue and that will go right inside my leaves. Isn't that pretty? So it gives a totally different look, doesn't it? Now for this card, we're going to say, thinking of you, and I'm gonna stamp these in the balmy blue as well. I'm gonna go at an angle thinking of you and we'll just stamp that right there so there is the front of our card so that's our first panel i'll set that here basic white that's one and a half by two and three quarters again just scraps going to work fine there i am going to stamp whoops wrong color let's bring in the knight of navy and we are going to stamp Dear friend, now we're gonna bring those dies back in. Now listen, if you don't have these dies, you could just create uh, these panels as rectangles, not a problem. I love the look of scallops. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna die cut Dear Friend with the smallest scallop in the scallop contours. But I want you to notice something. Do you go, Connie, it's gonna cut off the D and the D in Dear and Friend. It's gonna cut off the bottom of Dear and Friend. It is not, I promise you. The scallop is much bigger. So just do your best to line that up as best you can because after you die cut it, that's what it's going to look like. And you can see everything went in there perfectly, right? It does not go off the edge. So that is our dear friend. I've got another piece of Knight of Navy and I'm gonna adhere that to this Knight of Navy. This piece is a, a one and a half by two and three quarters. We'll just add that right there. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Let's work on another panel. All right, this one is a fun stamp. So I'm gonna put the word love right down here in the bottom left corner of Knight of Navy. Now I'm going to take this great leaf stamp. It's huge. And of course we love that. That means we can stamp so quickly. I'm gonna ink this up in Knight of Navy. And this is going to go off of the card and that is fine with me. Let's give that a good press everywhere. All right, there is, <laughs> doesn't look good, does it? Wait till we're done. There's more we're gonna be doing to this one. Now in the balmy blue, I'm going to ink up my leaves. And remember how we did on that last one, on this one here, how we stamped off so we didn't make our leaves 
quite so bold. We're going to do that again. And let me flip this around. This is why we love our photopolymer stamps, right guys? We can see right where we're stamping. Stamp that right there to get our leaves that nice soft blue. All right. Now I'm going to come in with the flowers and these just tuck right in. So we have one that's in Night of Navy and this is going to tuck in right about here. And so that's going to give me some great flowers. And now back in with the balmy blue and let's bring in our two step stamp. Again, not stamping off because we want those to be nice and dark because they look so nice with the uh, designer series paper we're going to use. Friends, it is now time to put this card together. All right, so I'm going to bring in my original here. So this is what we're going to start with. This is the front of my card. Guess what? Doesn't matter what panel you start with. It does not. So we're going to start right here. And we will come in and we'll put our thinking of you here on the front. Easy, right? Now we're going to take one of our designer series paper. We're going to put that right here. And you see that's just going to center from side to side. Now let's flip to our next panel. And that one is the four inches by two and a half. And you remember our dear friend, let's add some adhesive to that. That's going to be a great little sentiment to our pinwheel. We'll add that here. Okay, we're going to take another panel here on the left. Goes right there. Are you ready to flip? Let's flip again. Oh, what are we going to do? You guessed it. We're going to add a panel here. We're going to add our love scallop rectangle right there and one more and that will be our final piece of designer series paper and of course this is where we get to write our message so that will be this piece here guys look at that now i wanted to add one more little thing i wanted a little bit of ribbon just a little bit it's a thick card so i didn't want to go with anything too thick so i have got a little piece of the knight of navy uh, bordered ribbon so pretty we're just going to add that right there at the top again just kind of adds a little bit and here we go that is our pinwheel card set up ready to go now i have another card i want to share with you this one is so soft and so springy. So here I use the Country Bouquet Bundle and the matching designer series paper, the Country Floral designer series paper. Now for this card, I decided to use my stylish shape dies. Um, you're welcome to use this. There's also a circle punch that's available online. You could do that as well. So this card says, I love that we're friends. Look, there's that little bow. And then here's where the bundle came in. I punched two hearts and came back in again with the uh, the flags, the banners here from my uh, stylish shapes. With love for you. I just wanted to say I love you. I did do that. I love you in a uh, punch or a die. You want to know why? Because I stamped it crooked. So I covered it up, stamped some little hearts there, and then ended with my panel. So another really fun card. Now I wanted to tell you for this one, I didn't have enough designer series paper. Nope, I didn't. So you know what I did here? I used some basic white card stock, which I felt still blended really nicely. I could have also used my mint macaron, which is the card base. So whatever you want to do, you just want the inside to match because when it stands, you can see the inside. But guys, what a fun wow card. They're going to love this one and this one as well it's fun to make and it's really fun to give and you know if you can just put those four panels on those uh, little pinwheel pieces you got it the rest is all just about decorating and having some fun thank you so much for stopping by today hey if you like the pinwheel card i would love a little thumbs up on youtube thank you so much for that and if you have not subscribed why not click the subscribe button youtube would love to let you know whenever i'm back with a new video and we'd love to have you here thank you again for being with me today make it a great day everybody talk to you next time Bye bye